In an effort to try and prevent other tragic shootings like the ones that we have seen around the country, the city of Davis handing out free guns today, free gun locks, I should say today, believing that it could potentially save lives. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix was there as those locks exchanged hands with a big hope in mind. <laughs> City and police officials handed out free gun locks during the farmer's market in Davis on Saturday. Anything we can do to prevent more gun violence, I think, is a really good thing. And residents like Terrell, who lives in Davis, agreed and took home a safety lock for her firearm. This helps you, like, keep them safe before anything, so that's really the... The main reason. The free giveaway follows the Davis City Council unanimously passing a gun ordinance during last week's council meeting. It requires firearms owners to safely store their weapons at home by either placing them in a locked container or by using a firearm safety device. All of the accidental deaths that occur uh, pretty much every week you're reading about some you know young kid in, in the United States that picks up an unsecured gun and either injures themselves or somebody else and they're just tragic. That's exactly what they want to stop from happening in Davis. They believe if people lock up their weapons, it'll help save lives. The agencies that handed out these gun locks today wanted to make it clear that they weren't trying to take away anyone's right to own a firearm. They just want to make sure those who own a firearm legally are responsible and lock them up. It's so tragic, all these shootings that have been happening, and especially uh, about a month ago after the shooting in Uvalde, Texas at that school. Um, you know, I really wanted to see this item come forward to the city council and also, uh, and my colleagues were very supportive, but, and, and frankly, the people in our community are very supportive. Emily Alt was a kindergarten teacher when the tragic Columbine shooting occurred 22 years ago in Colorado. As the co-leader of the Yolo County Moms Demand Action, she volunteers reaching out and her communities about the importance of gun safety. It just really breaks your heart as a teacher and as a mom, but then you realize doing this work that actually the mass shootings get all the news and the headlines, but every day we lose over 110 people to everyday gun violence. A number this outreach program aims to reduce one weapon at a time. In Davis, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.